Hi everyone, my name is Emily Bierman. Um, you might know me from my work with the Carlson Center at Johnson County Community College, but today I'm coming to you from my home here in Lenexa, Kansas, to tell you a little bit about the Lenexa Arts Council. I am a member of the Arts Council. Uh, there are nine of us who make up the council. We are appointed by the mayor, and um, I'm here to give you a little bit of a scoop on what's going on with the Arts Council in Lenexa. First of all, I wanna say a big thank you to the Arts Council of Johnson County for hosting this video today, and also a huge thank you to our governing body, the City Council and the Mayor of Lenexa for making the arts a priority and for funding the arts for the city of Lenexa and for our citizens. So first of all, um, the mission of the Arts Council is to provide quality arts programs and events that awaken appreciation of the arts, that create a special sense of place, and also to enhance the quality of life for the people that live in our city and around greater Kansas City. We have great support from our, our city government, as I mentioned, and it allows us to do a wide variety of programs. So in City Hall in Lenexa City Center, and that's located about 87th and 435, we have a City Hall Art Gallery. We do a monthly show that features usually two artists, one in two-dimensional art, one in three-dimensional art, um, and we also sometimes do um, a variety of uh, art that's provided uh, for instance, our Lenexa art show is all residents of Lenexa. And then we have um, a show that we do for high school students once a year. So those shows do feature a variety of artists. But um, anytime you're in Lenexa City Hall, the City Art Gallery is open during business hours, or if you're stopping by the public market to grab a bite of dinner, you're, happy, you're be welcome to walk upstairs and take a look at the art that's on view. Other programs that we're involved in include City Center Live, which is um, live music, theater, dance, or comedy events in partnership with the Johnson County Library. And the Johnson County Library has relocated its Lenexa branch to Lenexa City Center as well. Um, and the, the community forum in City Hall is the location for these free programs that happen every month. We have a community orchestra in Lenexa that does concerts in the summertime Theater on the Trail, which takes a group out to Black Hoof Park and local actors perform a play and in between acts we do a little hike, uh, Theater on the Trail. So that's been a really wonderful and popular program. The Sunflower Poetry Open Mic uh, is hosted by poet Jen Harris and happens every month again in the community forum at Lenexa City Hall. And it um, opens the mic to any local poets or spoken word artists that would like to come and share. And then the public art collection is available throughout the city and also at City Hall. So if you're driving around Lenexa and you see a wonderful sculpture or piece of public art, the Lenexa Arts Council was involved in putting those into our community. Now, obviously, these programs I've described to you are what happens under normal circumstances. And since we're all um, quarantining and locking down and uh, staying safe right now, um, during the pandemic, we've changed the format of some of our programs a little bit. So for the Sunflower Poetry Open Mic, we have gone virtual. And if you didn't know how to use Zoom before the pandemic, well, I bet you're an expert now, right? So you can access uh, the Poetry Open Mic any month through a Zoom link that's on the lenexa.com website. Uh, in the art gallery, we're hopeful that we'll be able to reopen and have receptions every month again soon with our artists, which is our normal practice. But for now, um, we're going to do a Meet the Artist virtual experience, and we hope that the first one of those will take place in June. Um, in the public art arena. So if you're out, as I said, and you drive by a wonderful sculpture, you might want to be involved in the public art photobomb contest. So take a selfie uh, with one of our pieces of public art and um, submit it and you might win a prize. So we hope that you can take advantage of that as well. Uh, the city is creating a, vid a video to feature the public art. So if you're not familiar with it, you can become so by watching that. They're also updating public art locations on the I Like Lenexa app, and that's available um, in the Google Play Store or in the Apple Store. You can download it anytime. Uh, concerts and outdoor performances are canceled through the month of June right now, and we hope that things improve and we're able to continue uh, later in the summer. But you can also learn about that and then more information about all of our events and programs at 
www.lenexa.com and you can search for arts or you can look at the calendar of events there and get more information. If you have any questions about these programs, you can certainly contact our staff art liaison. Her name is Suzanne Neely and she is a rock star and her address, her email address is sneely, that's S-N-E-E-L-Y at lenexa.com. So thank you so much to the Arts Council of Johnson County and to the Lenexa City Government for supporting our wonderful arts programs in the city of Lenexa, Kansas. And thanks to all of you for watching this video today. Have a great day.